Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a big revamp of the NARS lipstick line. They have reformulated, repackaged, repriced, and added a bunch of new shades. I do want to point out this new lipstick line revamp has not affected the Audacious lipsticks. This is just from their regular lipstick line. Rest assured, your beloved Audacious lipstick is not being tampered with, at least not at this time. I know a lot of people were concerned about that when NARS announced this new lipstick revamp because so many people do love the Audacious lipsticks. They are not being affected by this. So let's get that out of the way right up front. I have 16 of the new shades. I believe in total there are 32 new shades. I did get confirmation from NARS which shades in this line are new because these lipsticks have launched now and all the old ones are gone. So they did revamp a lot of their existing shades and they also added some new shades. I'm going to make a little list over here that tells you the names of all the new shades. That way if you had interest in a shade that I don't have in my hands today then you can go and check those out online or maybe some other YouTubers or other online creators might have swatches of those. I am going to lip swatch the 16 new shades that I have. First, I just want to give you a little bit of info. We're going to take a close-up look at the repackaging. I definitely want to point out that the price has actually gone down. I was shocked to see that. We're so used to seeing prices just continue to go up and up and up and inflate. These lipsticks used to be priced at $28 a piece. They're now $26 a piece, which is awesome, especially because I love the new packaging updates. Let's take a close-up look at a new full-size lipstick compared to an old one. See here with the NARS name around the top, the lid instead of like the bullet part, this is the old packaging. So it has a little bit more rounded edges. It also has this little sort of band around the middle. The new packaging has been a little bit more streamlined. It's definitely very NARS aesthetic. It now has the NARS logo around the bottom instead of on the cap. The edges are a little bit more squared off. It's still that same soft touch matte black. One feature that I like is they have color coded the stickers on the bottom. On the old bullets all the stickers had this black background and now the stickers sort of color coordinate to the shade inside. So if you store your NARS lipsticks with the bottoms facing up in a drawer you can kind of grab your shade a little bit more easily. I like that. I want to point out that according to the stickers on the bottom here the amount of product inside has not changed. They both say 0.12 ounces. It's the same amount of lipstick in here. Another cool thing you can see, this is the old full-size NARS bullet. The new ones have that NARS logo printed onto the bullet itself. Just a little detail, but it is a very luxurious detail, so I like that update as well. Now that you're up to date on all the packaging details, let's take a look at the lip swatches of the 16 new shades that I have now, and then I will wrap up everything at the end.
I also want to give you some side-by-side -side comparison swatches just on my arm so that you can see some of these shades grouped by color side-by-side. -side. When you're jumping from one lip swatch to the next, it's hard to tell how they might look different or how they might look similar. So we're going to go through a couple comparisons here with the like nudie mauve shades. I'm also going to show you all the brights together and then all the like vampier shades together. Hopefully this little comparison is helpful for you as well. We have Little Princess, which is a sheer. Chelsea Girls, which is a sheer. This has been released as a gloss, but never as a lipstick. Raw Seduction is a satin. Erotic Adventure is a matte. Love and Lips is a matte. And Hot Kiss is a matte. Okay, we have Ravishing Red, which is a matte. Damage Control is a satin. Inappropriate Red is a matte. Intrigue is a matte. And Bad Reputation is a satin. We have Force Speciale, which is a matte. Immortal Red is a matte. Opulent Red is a satin. Maltese Red is a satin. And Heroin Red is a satin. All in all, I'm a fan of this new update. I didn't have a ton of their regular lipsticks previously, so I can't really speak to how much the formula has improved or not. I will say, as far as the packaging goes, I think this is a great update. Really sleek and just clean, fits in with that NARS aesthetic. And I mean, who doesn't like a price drop? I know I do. I will take $2 any day of the week. Of all the new shades that I've had the chance to try, the satin formulas are my favorite and nobody's going to be surprised. This warm nude satin shade called Raw Seduction is my absolute favorite of the 16 new shades that I tried today. You know I always love to hear what you guys think about things. Do you like these new shades or any of them just up your alley making you feel like you need to go lipstick shopping? Do you like the new packaging as much as I do? Leave a comment, let us know what you're thinking, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Well, that was probably ridiculous, but what's new? <laughs> Things to figure out before you start filming. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. My inner corner highlight is so bright. I look crazy just now and probably all the time. It's fine. I also want to point out that the ch 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 man. I also want to point out that the, I also want to point out something. Okay, I'm fine. I've somehow developed a stutter, but I'm fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> getting there, guys, getting there. Not really. We're barely even started. Okay, this one is loving lips. Loving them. Loving your lips. Why am I so weird? I just finished this book last night and it was so good. I can't stop thinking about it. I like want to reread it, but I'm not going to, but I want to. It gave me all the feels. I cried like three times, which isn't really saying that much, but like still. This is Hot Kiss, which is weird because it's a cool tone. Okay, Nars, it's fine. You been talking to ColourPop? <laughs> you know, because ColourPop always names their stuff things that don't make sense with the shade. No, just me? Okay. Ah, that's bright. These don't smell like anything. They smell like lipstick. This is a ravishing red. Almost dropped it. I start to get tired from smiling when I'm lip swatching, so by the end I'm just like... Mm. Camera, do not die on me now. I have four swatches left. <laughs> Just keep swatching, just keep swatching. Sometimes I hear Dory in my head when I'm making these videos. Gonna stare at me? No. Uh, uh, huh? Yet again, I'm wearing concealer as foundation. This is my new favorite thing to do. Who knew? Anybody else do that? Look how cute the shirt is. Hold on, I gotta show you. It says, I'll be there for you, like the Friends song and in the Friends font. Isn't that so cute? 
I got it from Amazon and I love it. I'll try to remember to link it in the description for all my fellow Friends fans out there. I love a comfy cute t-shirt. Who doesn't really? You know you love a comfy cute t-shirt too. Don't lie to yourself. It's okay. Okay, bye. Bye.